I have no food for myself. I have plenty of food for the dogs and uh, my cat and Sam the Raven, the pigeon. Everybody's got food but me, so I gotta go to Walmart. I'm, I'm starving. I, you know, I had something around the house I ate, but I mean, I, I really, I don't have much of anything. So, it's nice. This Kevin Spacey story, this, this kid, that there's gonna be an arraignment, like next week or something. This is absurd. He's an 18 year old. He, he told Kevin Spacey he was 23. So he was really 18, but 18 is an adult. He's an adult passing himself off as a 23 year old and Kevin Spacey's buying drinks. He's buying drinks. You're drinking with Kevin Spacey. You know, he's gay. You know, he's single. Okay. Yeah, he'd probably try something, right? That's what I'd be thinking. But I'll tell you one thing, I wouldn't get my mom involved if, you know, Kevin Spacey put the moves on me. What are you gonna do? You got your, why, why is his mom involved? She did that press conference. It's absurd. Somebody tell this kid to calm down. Okay, so Kevin Spacey grabbed his crotch. You know, Kevin Spacey, go, go tell the judge you'll never do it again. There's, what law was really broken? You're drinking beer with a gay dude. You're a dude, and they and they go. They're gonna go for it, right? Don't blame the gay dude that's drunk. You're drinking with them. I'm sorry. I just I just don't see this. Like, what in the hell is that? This shit about Kevin Spacey. Seriously, all of it sort of sounds like, uh, yeah, it's Kevin Spacey's gay. And if you're drinking wine with him, he's getting handsy, right? Well, why are you drinking wine with him? You know it's Kevin Spacey. It's nice going to Walmart because I know the meat isn't gonna stink. I'm not, I don't think that I'm using key food anymore. That's directly across the street. Instead, like when I'm in Brooklyn, I, I do think that I'm just gonna go to Pioneer, which is three blocks up. It's not far. But their meat doesn't stink, you know? I mean, I felt terrible complaining. I don't want to complain, but it's like 13 years of this garbage and this like, you know, I know what they're doing. It's so clear what they're doing. Their stuff's overpriced. They're just screwing everybody because it's a, it's a really poor area. It is, it's, I live in the ghetto. There's, most people are paying with stuff with food stamps. It's Kevin Spacey. You know he's gay. You're drinking beer with a gay dude, right? You're getting wasted with a gay dude. And the guy was 18, but he told Kevin Spacey he was 23. Kevin Spacey put the moves on on a date. The guy that owns the grocery store knows that people that play, pay with poots, food stamps don't really care what things are priced at. They're just gonna they're just gonna buy them. So they're, they're taking advantage of the people and they're taking advantage of the government. And I think it's fucked up. So I, I really don't want to buy stuff in key food anymore. It's fucking foul. The meat stinks. Oh look, people have been hunting. Reading glasses, I buy them by the pack because I'm terrible with them. Have the dogs hold them and stuff. You set these things down, you lose them just constantly. Oh, my, my favorite section, the adult diaper selection. Listen, you could, you could put a hot broad on the, on the package all you want, but it's not, it's, it's not going to convince anybody that they're sexy when they're diapers, unless they're really screwed up in the head. I mean, you gotta, you got to be kidding me. Don't, don't try and fool us old people. We know, okay? We know. Like they, they have like on the on the dudes adult diapers, they have this this guy that's like he there's no way this guy wears diapers. There's there's, there's no way. And it, it looks like they, they used a dude and they ask him to put like a, a cucumber in there or something or a rolled up sock. Hey, it's safe set that's for small, small medium. The pen's real fit. It's two dollars off. Maybe I should get them because it'll probably happen one day. 
I will. It, you know, I hope not. I don't have any trouble like that, actually. So maybe it won't happen. That doesn't happen to everybody. Like, is, is that because guys are, like, peeing? Like, the, like they're incontinent? Or that's with chicks. That's, that's usually why chicks wear these, isn't it? I mean, you're, you know, guys aren't wearing diapers, but... Are these, are these adult diapers for taking dumps in them, too? It's just, it's just about peeing, right? Oh, man, come on. I don't want that to happen. Oh, yeah, I got I to put my diaper on because I got to go someplace. I might have to take a dump. God damn it. Life, life is hard enough without that. Like, I got I to gotta pay for gas, but I took a dump in my diaper. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to smell, and they're going to know it. But I, I need gas for my car to get home, and I don't have any spare diapers with me. Who changes your fucking diaper? Oh, I guess you do, right? What a bummer. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy something to cook a pot pie in. I'm being serious. Okay, so I, I can't do a microwave. Jin and I can't do a microwave. It just, it just doesn't uh, make any sense. Wow, I like this though. The, the, the tiniest beverage refrigerator holds four cans. It can't be cold. Come on, really? That's no way. Um, tell you what I, I'm thinking. Well, maybe I should hold off on this because I'm, I'm tempted to buy this for some reason. It's, it's $30. It's three crocs. Um, you know, I could make three different things in it. That I might get. Um, I, I saw that before. You know, I just I just want something to do a pot pie, though. That that's all I want to make. You know, anything else is like. I guess I could do a toaster oven. My my wiring's not totally done in my kitchen, so I don't know if I want to do this yet. Maybe I'll hold off. Um, come on, a waffle maker? Who buys that? You know who. I'm not making waffles ever. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy anything. I don't need this. I don't think. So I'm buying this. This is $30. I'm gonna buy it. I am. I'm buying it. I, I like rice. By the way, Jinyan has a great recipe for rice with butter. With butter? You know. But how could it be bad? Like, it's like, uh, what are you eating, Jinyan? I'm eating some rice with butter. All right. So now I'm going to try it. I'm going to try Jinyan's recipe with rice with butter? Really? Okay. Yeah, I guess it would work. It would be pretty good, right? So I'm buying this because it says, it says, look at this. You can make, you can make French toast with this? If I can make French toast with this, I'm going to put a pot pie in here and cook it. It also says... It's got a picture of a cake on it, okay? So, this, this is what I'll try, it's $30, and I'm gonna put a pot pie in here and see how it works. I, I like pot pies. One thing that I've been planning to buy is a blender, and here's one for $14, $14 blender. Because I, I was thinking I'll make I'll make smoothies. I don't know. Right? I guess, I guess I'll do that. You know what the problem is? Is I'm going to make smoothies and then you got to clean the thing out. You know? That's the bummer, man. I'm, I, I don't want to clean anything out. I, I, I'll buy this. I'll make a smoothie. Then I won't clean it out because I'll be either training a dog or working on something. Then I'll, it'll end up getting gross. I, I just wonder if you buy... Like, are all, are all these... No, that's glass. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that if, if I bought a blender that had the thing that was plastic, that's sort of harder to clean. If I bought one that was glass... You know, 
that would be better. Here's a here's a Hamilton Beach glass jar blender for thirty dollars. I'm spending so much money here, man. I'm gonna spend what, like thirty, sixty bucks on this shit? I guess I'm doing it. Uh, it's a wave action blender, ideal for smoothies. I th I think that that would be smart. You, you get the one with the glass jar, you get the one with the plastic, and then it just, it doesn't clean well. Okay, all right, all right. All right, Jin Yin, I'm gonna make me some smoothies with my new $30 blender that has a glass jar. I am, I'm doing it. God damn it. It's fucking 30 bucks? Listen to me, it's fucking $30. It's 30 bucks. I'm gonna take real good care of it. I'm gonna use this blender forever. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have it until I'm a hundred, or until it gets maggots in it, because I forget to clean it out. Jinyan's just totally grossed out that like I've had maggots in my house. A lot of lot of people are. They're like, really? How do you get ma You know, in the trash can. And the you know, Jinyan's like, well. Why? I don't I don't put chicken juice in the trash can anymore. Thanks to Jinyan. She told me just pour that stuff. Pour see pour that pour out the chicken juice before you put it in the trash can. I do. I want a dead flat polyurethane. And I don't really see it. They don't have it here. And dead flat is different than mad. It is. I guess, um, I guess I'll buy it online. I don't understand what the problem is. Um, it's a bunch of different brands, but no dead flat. It's Matt. God damn it. Walmart, come on. I have this idea to take a, like a, a furnace filter, take the furnace filter and put it on a box fan. So I could take out some of the, like, uh, allergens. I have indoor allergies. Sort of kind of control it that way. Why wouldn't that work? It would help. I'm doing it. The problem is, is I didn't measure the box fan. So, um, it's a square fan. They have them over here. I don't want to rip it out of the box though. Uh, 20 by 20. Could be. Looks about the right size. I don't know. 20 by 20. Looks about it. All right. I'm spending too much money. I am. I'm gonna rethink this. Maybe I'll just get, I have a box fan at home. I'll see if this fits. All right. And then if it fits and this works, then I'll do another one. I'll put one upstairs too. Should work, right? Let's try zip tri zip tying it to the to the fan itself. Okay, now I'm not getting this, and I'll tell you why. It's because these are expensive. These are eight bucks, but Fetters has them down here. They're they're all shit. So I'll just buy a Fetters one for. It's it says two three bucks for four of them. Right? So if they have 20 by 20, which they do, um, that seems like this, this is a go. It'll work. I need zip ties though. Some guy just recognized me. Who's nice? Dave. Dave. He said, oh, I know you. You too. I need tape because I'm Sending, I'm sending some stuff to Jinyan. I want to make sure it's packaged good. Um, 
I need packing tape. I guess we'll do this. I don't know. It's not cheap either. I guess I guess I'll use this. Now, I'm also thinking that zip ties might not work. I might just duct tape it to the box fan. So, and I, I could use duct tape anyway. So I'll just get original, original duct tape and I'll get some cable ties and have them around here. I'll attach the, the box fan and the filter together with this. That's, that's, my, that's what I'm gonna try. Do this first. I'll see how this works. I have a new kind of rice pudding here. Senior rice. I'll try it. I'm assuming that it's the Mexican kind that has like cinnamon in it. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll try it. Ginian. I'm gonna also get the other kind. Ginian tin. I've tried to get her to try rice pudding. She hasn't yet. It's, it's no big deal there, girl. Try the, try the rice pudding. You might like it a lot. That's what you say to the girls. You might like it a lot. Then they might like it a, a whole lot. Okay, this is pricey. It's in a glass jar. Sea salt and caramel. French yogurt. I'm getting it. This is the one thing I'm buying that I'm really... I feel like I'm splurging. Like, I, I don't really need to try that. It's almost in like a baby food jar. Oh, there's, speaking of that, there's there's yogurt for babies. Come on. I guess that's about like what's, uh, you know, you, you, want, uh, you want it convenient. You want to be able to like just use it and throw it away and not open one up, use it, open it up again. There's a, I've, I've heard so much about turmeric. I don't believe any of this bullshit, okay? I don't believe it. My neighbor was talking about this, like turmeric. So, this looks pricey at six bucks, but I'm gonna get it and I'm, I'm gonna see it because I have chronic pain. So we'll, we'll just see if this does anything. It says a spoonful. Um, I don't know. I'm stuck here because I'm seeing these new products. Like the, here's gazpacho, right? I'm gonna try this. Um, I'm gonna try, I'll try this one because this is the, the classic kind of gazpacho. We'll see. Can't be good. Pin would boy make me feel guilty. I do. So I am milk pain. I'm trying some vegan cheese. Okay. I think it's gonna taste like garbage, but I'm gonna try it. Okay. I know that this probably isn't the brand that you like, but I'm I'm trying. I'm just I'm trying it. You know. It's gonna taste like garbage though. Canyon. Check it out. Look, it's not the meat kind, but it is toasted ravioli. And I've had them, I, I cooked these in a pan with butter. They, they were fine. I wish that, the, I don't see that they have the meat kind. I don't know why, but I, they're all right. They're, they're not like in St. Louis, but they're close. They're close. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this and I hope that they ripped off A1. That is what I'm hoping. We'll see. Need an extra pair of shoes. In case my feet get wet. I hope they're not out of my shoes. They were online. I tried to buy them online. I lost a pair of shoes in Brooklyn. Um. God damn it, man. Oh, this, this sucks. They stopped making these. I'm gonna be bummed out. You no, know, they they have them. Um, they are real super tiny feet, though. I hope that they have my size. They have them in black. I'll take it. They're leather. They're the only leather shoes I think Walmart has. They're slip-on. Attention, associates. Can I have the associate with the fitting one, please? Birdseed for the wild birds my sparrows um, I gotta get back I gotta work with Chippy have Remy in the car and I start freaking out like 
Maybe somebody will see her in there. Nobody's gonna see her in there. She's on the headrest. And they wanna like steal her. There's a lot of people that steal pigeons, I bet, if they if they know it was Remy. A lot of people are jealous about that I have Remy and you don't. You know what you know what I could really use? is a um, Black Panther energy t tonic right now. I have a few. I might go home and drink one. Into another lane. I didn't like her attitude at all. It's like she's screaming at me. It's not going in a bag. Leave it in the cart. Okay. You know, probably would have anyway. This, this, this woman seems more pleasant. Real hungry. So I'm going to open the vegan cheese. It's a vegan American style slices. Let's see. I gotta put the camera down. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed is that it's not individually wrapped. So now I got it open, you know. It's not individually wrapped. So I'm gonna have to wrap it back up or something. It's American cheese, that's fake anyway, isn't it? That's, that's horrible. That's not good at all. I know what Milk Paint's gonna say. You didn't get the right brand. That's what she's gonna say. This is not good. This, Milk Paint, this is not, this is not even close to cheese. This isn't even close to Velveeta. Maybe I could get used to it though. Maybe I could get used to it. It's it's not objectionable. Milk pain, you should just start well, she will eat cheese. You and Mike should start eating real good cheese. Like this this is not real good cheese. This is garbage. This is not good. No way. Doesn't taste good. It, it's not that good. It's not like disgusting. Sort of flavorless. There's not a lot of flavor in it. You know, and for... American cheese not to have flavor that's kind of flavorless anyway so this stuff's like eating air like you know it's a, it tastes like nothing it's like I don't know I say no on this brand this is um, I don't know I'll eat the package on the way home and then I'll decide I, I, I need to eat more of it I just called milk paint and gave her my um, sort of thumbs down on it's not objectionable it's just not it doesn't have a lot of flavor and I think my point was that all the vegan cheese I see is just sort of like this it's like in a package like this and it's it's just either orange or white there's no blue cheese there's no oh she told me that they have like something that's like smoked gouda which I, I'll, I'll look around for that and see if I can find that there must be a health food place close. I think she said that she gets that in, um, at Whole Foods in Albany. So, but this is like, it's like not, I'm eating it. I ate, I opened the package, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. But it's not, it, it's similar in texture to no American cheese. American cheese isn't really cheese, though. I like real cheese, so I don't see that that she'll eat cheese. Milk okay, will eat cheese. She's not. She's not a total nut. She's a little nutty. You know, she's got an extreme diet, but she'd say no. It's not ex extreme. You're extreme. 
you know, I'll eat stuff out of a can. And she's like, well, how hard is it just to cook something? It's not really the cooking, it's the cleanup, it's all that, and I got other shit to do. It's a, it's a, it's a problem, you know? No, I'm, I'm so a few things that I like about winter. One, I can put my my groceries in the back of the car and I don't have to take them in right away because they're not gonna spoil. So it's cold as shit. So I can, I'm just gonna go in and start, uh, I'll do a, a, less, a session with Chippy real quick. I'll go in the back and then maybe I'll, uh, I'll come back out and start emptying them. And two, I can drive around with Remy and I don't have to worry about it, the car being hot. So, like in the, in the summer, I can't bring Remy with me. It sucks. I, I will if I don't have to go in anywhere, if I'm just going for, you know, going some, driving somewhere. But I can't, like, leave her in the car. Worry about Remy too much. I love Remy. Remy's awesome. Yeah. You are. You're awesome, sister. She, when Remy woke up this morning, she was all excited. Sam was sleeping by us last night, or the, you know, he slept by me last night, and then Remy was all excited. Sam was down there sleeping with us. Sam the Raven. I don't know why people ask me about, like, do you still have him? It's just, what do you mean? Where would, where would he be? Do I still have him? It's a, like, 11 year old Raven. Yeah, I still have him. I still have Sam. It's ridiculous. It's clear the majority of the country wants Medicare for all. The only question is how do you pay for it? Here's my idea. My idea is one, make marijuana legal in every state. It, it can't be illegal. There can be zoning laws, but it's legal in every state. As long as you're, you're 18 or older, you can buy weed. That's, that's flat out. Now, anything like that that's not necessarily good for you, other than mar medical marijuana, if it's recreational marijuana, it will be taxed very heavily. Definitely. The, the other thing of it is, is as far as like taxing goes, it, it'll be like a Satan's tax. If something's like not good for your health, statistically like not good for your health, like say automobiles, guns, those things will be taxed appropriately. And those things will be taxed similar, similar to each other because the, statistically they're both just as deadly. So they'll be taxed extremely high. Anything like that, uh, booze, cigarettes, it's all legal, but it's going to be taxed real heavy. If you want to do that, that's fine, but you're going to have to pay through the nose for it. Well, everybody needs health care. This is ridiculous. And that seems like an appropriate way to do it. And you can use statistics to find out how much of the Satan's tax will be allied. Like, how, what's the percentage that you're going to charge the people? That's the way it has to be. You, you, you have to, they have to get this done. And they, it has to be paid for. So marijuana should be, marijuana should be legal right now in every state. It should but there will be a, a federal tax on it, which will be part of the Satan's tax. And that, that's, that's just it. So you, you can use these, you can use marijuana, you can use whatever, you can buy guns, you can, you can, you know, but you're gonna have to pay for them and that's gonna help pay for our medical care. It has to be done. This, this is getting ridiculous. No one should be suffering in this, in this country not being able to get health care, not being able to be looked at by a doctor, losing everything because they have to pay for some kind of medical procedure. This doesn't help. This doesn't help anybody. And it really affects the, the, the poor. It does. If you don't have a lot of money, but you're, you're doing okay, you're keeping your head above water, you get sick, it's over. It's, it's, it's financial ruin. We gotta have the Satan's tax. So marijuana has to be legal in every state. You want you want your AK-47, you want your AR-15, whatever. But those are gonna be taxed extremely heavy. They are.
Well, you know, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to help. You don't, you know, you don't want people to have health, health care. But you, you want to have your AR-15. You'll have your AR-15. But also with that, while we're on the subject, limit capacities. This is ridiculous. Any rifle shouldn't have any more than five or eight shots. Why do you need that many anyway? If you if you're gonna deer hunt with that thing, you get you get one shot. It's the truth. You get one shot. What are you, what are you gonna try and hit it while it's running? No. It just seems like if you were confident enough, and like you're hanging with a gay dude, and I've I've hung with gay dudes. Not that this ever happened though, but like a gay dude grabbed your your cranker, right? What would you do? Pick a fight with them? No. Dude, I'm not gay. Right? That's what you say. And then, and then you can leave. You can just go wherever and do whatever you want. You don't have to hang out with them.